Welcome back y'all, Barley here. And it's time to start year four on the Lone Oak Animal Farm. And this year is going to bring some exciting changes. The first of the new changes is that we bought Field 41 for increased grass pasture. We need more grass for silage and also for grass and hay for cows and sheep. Also, we needed more space for buildings. We need more silo capacity and we're going to have to put that somewhere. And then we need a bigger TMR mixer. So 41 gives us the room for all of this. This has room for just about everything. It'll hold TMR, it'll hold yeah, just about everything you can imagine, silage. So that helps us out with storage space. So that, And I lined everything up so that it's real easy to pick up what we need to feed into our new TMR mixer, which is right here. And this can produce up to 75,000, or well, hold 75,000 liters of TMR which is a lot better than the 16,000 we were getting out of that little Silo King. So, you know, it was time to move up to bigger and better. Along with the TMR mixer, we also got this hay dryer. We had an, in, an incident, well, you know, a set of incidents, events, whatever you want to call it, bad weather. We just never were able to get the grass off the ground. We weren't going to be able to get the grass off the ground in time, and after two days, it starts disappearing. So we decided to go ahead and harvest the grass and then use this this grass dryer to turn it into hay. Now, you lose 10% of the yield, but it's better than losing all of it. You know, sometimes the weather just can't be helped and it rained for two solid days. So we'll put the Silo King in the shed for now and see if we can not find a different use for it. And if we can't, then we'll just sell it. Along with the new buildings, we also got a new truck and trailer. This will help with milk. We've been leasing it up till now, but it's getting to where milk production is, you know, there's so much that we're pretty much needing to take it every other day and in some cases every day. So leasing was going to become fiscally irresponsible. Now milk isn't the only thing this semi is going to be good for. We're also going to use it to collect manure so that we don't have to take quite as many trips to the biogas plant. And also so that we don't have our trailer, our other trailer, kind of sitting there when we need it. And it's going to help out with harvest time. That way the tractors can spend more time doing tractory things like plowing, seeding, fertilizing, all that. So that may, harvest time should go faster. Another change we're making this year is in to get ready for pigs. We're in, this is the last time we'll be harvesting cotton. We're we're planting barley, winter barley. So this will come up in the spring so that we can turn around and plant soybeans to feed to the pigs. So bye bye cotton. You know what's better than buying one new truck? Buying two new trucks. This pickup will allow us to service tractors in the field if they need fuel or seed or whatever. It also helps with the egg deliveries. I mean, this thing does 75 or miles per hour. A lot better than, you know, the tractor at 32. And it pulls the trailer, the egg trailers, just fine. This year I've also moved all of our supplies indoors and our equipment. The biggest advantage is this place is lit, so even when we need to do work at night, it's not as dark. The other advantage is our stuff isn't sitting in the rain. And last but not least, we added sheep. This is the last of the critters that produce a sellable good, and that was our goal. It took four years, but we finally have sheep on the property, and there's two buildings. One is uh, the sheep pasture and the other is the wool collection thing building 
stuff, whatever you want to call it.
And here at the end of year four, I'm going to go ahead and put some video of the daily tasks on the Lone Oak Animal Farm at this point while I reveal our numbers from year three and year four to see how things have gone. In year three, we pulled in, revenue-wise, $577,511. We did make more money off of animal products than the cotton. So that achieved our goal of making the farm make more money off of animals than off of harvest. In year four, that increased substantially. As our cows matured, our herd grew, and our cows also calved so that they produced more milk, we actually pulled in $1.4 million. And you can see where the increases are. Manure, $250,000. Almost a million dollars in milk alone. Wool, the sheep are just getting started. So they aren't mature yet and they aren't producing a ton of wool. We'll have to wait for next spring to see what they produce when they're fully ready. But hey, $23,000, great. Eggs, we're pulling in $200,000 a year in eggs. Not bad. Year five is coming, and with it, our soybean harvest, we should get a soybean harvest, and if we do, we'll, we'll be adding our first meat animals, animals that we sell for meat, and that's pigs. I'm not quite sure which process we're gonna use, whether we're gonna buy piglets and raise them to you know, fatten them up for sale, or if we're going to buy some sows and start from the beginning and take them up to meat level. But that's pretty much it for this episode. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you like this series and want it to continue, hit the thumbs up button. If you want to make sure you know when the next episode of Lone Oak Animal Farm drops, hit subscribe.